is currently this is going to be funny, isn't it? Just <laughs> the end of this. I'm really looking forward to the random pile of stuff that we get from the spawning pool. Alright, Tychus. Apparently what a man's got to do today is pick up a lot of Zerglin eggs. Keeping the warbot inside, inside that bailing nest. <laughs> Beautiful. These eggs and this swarm belong to me. Something is different about this nest. It's Space Easter. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, I love the idea that we're having Space Easter right now, so Tychus is on an Easter egg hunt. has drawn the attention of some feral banelings. They are attacking her. Oh, Zigzags is tough. That extra armor makes it hard for Tychus. Zagara has deep tunneled back to her base to recover. We're gonna head on over here. She will return. Bring these guys. And try to start getting stuff done. Oh, we do have improved overlords. Look at that. That's fancy. Um we're gonna go push towards the bonus objectives because I feel like leveling up Tychus is a good skill to have. How much HP does he have? 340. I feel like the heroes might be a little bit overtuned right now. I really like that they scale with the levels, but they might have to have a little bit of a reduction in terms of their base level power in order to make that manageable. It's hard to say. I'll think about that tonight and see if we can get a hotfix for tomorrow and give it a test. You are not powerful enough to kill me. Hope everything is 100% great. It has been 99.2% great, which is really good. And everything that wasn't great was just a weird bug with the screen. I've been having a lovely time. This is incredible. Uh, in case you guys weren't here from the beginning of the stream, I uh, want to reiterate this. So this campaign that you are seeing right now is a direct result from the Twitch Trolls Grant experience, where you guys donated bits to uh, influence the game, if you remember that. So this is completely funded. This is one of the first times that a mod maker has been contracted and paid to make mods in StarCraft 2. And it is showing. It's really good, and I'm having a great time. And it will be available to all of you guys after we test it here. And make sure that all the uh, little kinks are fixed, because... It's not perfect right now, but it is definitely getting there. So guys, thank you. I really, really do thank you. Your generosity is paying off, and I hope that I can get you some really cool stuff in the future as a result of this. Warning. A wave of zerglings is approaching our boom, boom, boom. Cluster. We gotta stop Ziggy Zags, otherwise she's gonna steal all my eggs, and then I can't make breakfast. <laughs> thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Take us. Man, my economy sucks. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, Zagara? There you go. Taika should be able to hold off. He's got enough durability. Force her back. However, I don't actually have a whole lot of ability to defeat this area now, so I'm going to have to pull back for a little bit. I'm definitely suffering losses here. Every mission feels noticeably harder than the previous one, which I think is good. That's actually quite a nice difficulty curve, which isn't usually the case with Heart of the Swarm, where it generally gets easier as time goes on. Have we created a more balanced version of Heart of the Swarm? Maybe. I'll let, I'll let the viewers decide. So I'm trying to get up to the Hydra tier again. I feel like... Yeah, I just... I like it. It's reliable for now. I'm gonna get a couple support spellcasters to help things out. I don't need this extra hatch. That's too many hatches. I just need the Hydra down. Boop, boop, boop. Hydra. And plus two. You cannot stop me. We're going to get a couple tier 1 things just to we flood the area. Because I'm afraid that they're going to attack me. Of to the feral Zerg. 
I'll destroy them if I get a chance. Oh. There we go. We got a medic. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with you, buddy. <laughs> is is Zagara a detector? No, she's not. So we could theoretically just follow her around. <laughs> Be a little stalker. Is that weird? I think it's kind of weird, but... I don't know what else to do with an observer. I sense more eggs. It, we already get vision of her, though. Maybe what I should do is just keep it here so I have vision of incoming attacks. That's actually probably the best idea. And then when I don't see them, you guys can laugh at me for being bad. Oh, here comes Zagara. I'm a bad man. Whew, that grenade! Oh my goodness, that grenade. Yep, here's an attack. Oh, Dicus! What have you done? Jeez, 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 jeez. Push all this out. We need a lot of stuff. Zagara is hard, man. Wow. She's really impressive. Did you guys know Zagara was this good? Okay, we need a new hero. Hopefully, who are we going to get this time? A widow mine might be able to finish Zagara off. Okay. Nope. <laughs> it tried. There we go. You'll kill me with minions. At least fight. There we go. Let's get this plus three attack and head on over here to start clearing while we wait for. <laughs> we we got Kerrigan, guys. I guess I guess this is gonna be a boring, boring one, huh? Don't get in. <laughs> Let's see, we got implosion, telekinetically crush the target, deep tunnel to teleport, and razor swarm. Seems pretty good. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Mm. Oh, razor swarm hurts me. Uh, I gotta be careful about that. I, I have to learn this every time that I get access to this ability. I guess that's why she says careful what you ask for when you cast that ability, huh? This is my work. So what does implosion work on? Ground units? No. Uh, mechanical units. That's not that useful. I've stuck to low tier stuff at this point because I'm having a hard time with my economy. What you ask for? Who asked you? How many eggs do I have? 59, 60. I'm doing good in that respect. You gotta get that bonus objective. Swing up here. Make a bajillion hydras. No more games. Do we want to see if uh, Kerrigan can solo Zagara? Yeah, that's worth checking out. Because if she can't, she doesn't deserve to be the Queen of Blades. We destroyed one of the infested Terran structures. One more remains. She definitely does a lot of damage. There you guys go here. Ooh, we don't want... Oh, these are banshees. Nice. Ooh. Careful not to interfere. Yeah, this is a crush. Kerrigan is great. This is my never really die. I am the swarm. What is this? Uh infested Terran, sure. Don't know where you came from. Push through here. Don't go in there. Just take this all down. Oh, losing the dusk wings. This is the problem when you get random air units as a reward, but you don't actually have any other air units, is they die to the random spores on every mission. Or missile turrets, that sort of thing. How much damage does she do? 150 versus structures. Nerezi MDTs are pretty good. And... A little bit more, right up here. Don't get in my 
I wonder. I wonder. Is anyone thinking what I'm thinking? Can we force a roll? Like, we gotta try it. But there's a mechanical unit on the next mission that I am fairly interested in seeing if we can one-shot. Abathur, infuse the birthing pond. Get those eggs to hatch for me. Simple. Catalytic solution. Accelerated quickening. Army ready in a moment. And now, Zagara will regret crossing me. How much supply? 320? Ooh, wow, I was really close. Shouldn't have lost those couple units. Alright, boys. And drones and banes. Let's do this. <laughs> this is so many whirlwind zealots. Be done. We stand not a <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a slaughter. I'm actually pretty sure that you can't target the gorgons now that I think about it. They're untargetable. Also, no, I don't want to spoil anything else. Cat got your tongue. We're almost ready to go. All right, don't let's just crush through this. Way. Goodbye, my friend, Zagara. It was nice knowing you. But you are about to be blitzed by the ultimate spinny army. How can you control so many? I don't know, F2? Go, 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 Marines! And just the spire left, I think. I'm really looking forward me. for this one. You told all your brood mothers to be strong. Poor out of memory. Okay, we gotta relaunch the editor. This is gonna take a sec, sorry about that. If you open too many maps on the editor, it crashes. Because, uh, 2010 products. <laughs> you know how it goes. It will be open in just a sec. I can't actually give you a true timer. Come on, game. There we go. Let's do this. Fire in the sky. Swarm queens are essential to an effective army. See if you can accidentally roll them. The Bone Trench. This is the only approach to the Terran Fortress. I tried to bring my brood through here once before. The Terrans brought their Gorgon battle cruisers from the skies. They strafed us over and over. My brood bled and died, along with any hope of pushing the Terrans from Char. Oh, it might be. Wait, we don't get to see it yet. Nest. They could bring down a gorgon. We just need to reawaken them. My queen, we should simply race through the trench. Okay. Not waste time. Well, we're not going to get to see anything here. Alarak is a good roll. He's a real good roll. Actually, he dies every time I say that. My queen, General Warfield has called in a gorgon. It is headed for our hive cluster. That ship is huge. No wonder Warfield can't deploy two of them oh, into the trench at once. I can't see it. He only needs one. Darn. Well, I'm gonna kill it real fast, so I can check things. We have a creep tumor by the first scourge nest. I missed a mineral pellet. Thank you. Awaken. Annihilate that Gorgon. Hmm. Perfect. This is the beginning of the end, Warfield. We could have used one of those. We have more. Get a creep tumor by the next one. Move. Uh, 
wonderful. I'm very happy with that. These are the little things that I wanted added into this version to make it truly feel complete. And I think that it's just little bits, but it does help. Oh, we almost got him in the lava. <laughs> Banshees are good early on, aren't they? Except for against Vikings. Oh, dude, Warfield scans! Keep droning up. There's only one base on this mission, so we are going to swing down here. We're going to kill everything so they don't counterattack me because I like not being counterattacked. And there's actually a point to killing these orbitals this time because we have cloaked guys. Not for long. <laughs> That was odd. I guess he was technically grounded while he was flying through the air, so the Banshees were able to fire their barrage of missiles at him. Very weird. Either that or we got anti-air Banshees now. So, first things first, there is a siege tank right here. Perfect. Take down the factory. Actually, if this whole place is cloaked, then I guess the Banshees can do it on their own, huh? So we gotta be careful. Get another Gorgon into the fight. Wonder what we're gonna get this time. It is a mystery. <laughs> a creep tumor is under Ooh, lost a creep tumor. That's actually really bad. Now I have to get a queen somehow. <laughs> What a challenge. It's going to be the Spear of Adun. Yeah, we actually made a Spear of Adun model. A full one instead of just the tip. And just for this. Alright, this area is clear. I can come in and get all the resources here. Get a hive. Well, not yet. But we do want it for plus two attack and stuff. And then I guess I'm going to have to get a bunch of cheap units for now. You address the High Lord. So shall it be. Money, money. Oh, we rolled a queen. Nice. See, easy game. We're going to layer. Get a lot of units. 80, 90, done. I'll rack in the front because he's a big boy. As I... And then charge forward, push these back. <laughs> Sorry, guy in a truck. <laughs> you know what? There's a siege tank over here. Let's go kill it. Oh, no! Well, that sucks. Uh, we need to start getting this creep going, but I want to see what it is. As I oh, it's just a Leviathan again. Ooh! Got the long pokies. The chain of so there's only three different things that could turn into when one of them is a Gorgon. Gorgon is almost to the hive cluster. But we, we better roll the third chest. one. I love how it just works. The guy just dies. There's more coming. Spread the it doesn't feel janky or convoluted. I don't know how it works on the back end, but I just I love it when stuff works. I'm gonna get one more giant wave of units, and then we're gonna dive in. Okay, so when it's a gorgon, we can actually see it. Uh, probably that needs to be fixed so that we can always see it. That is a good little bit of debugging right there. Uh, I'm not writing it down, so I hope someone is. Because <laughs> we should have a list of things to get fixed before the public release. And uh, I'm lazy. I don't want to write. I'm barely literate. So now I want to... 
there's no reason to go up here unless you're going for the achievement, I think. So you can blast through all this. I definitely need more tumors because I'm taking a while. And then I need to start saving up for my armor upgrade. I know it seems a bit early, but it does cost 300 gas. Which makes it kind of difficult, and I definitely need it, especially against Terran. Because they fire so quickly. There's a scary enemy up here that I think I know how to deal with. This Thor... Just bring him on over. There we go. Nice. Call in another Gorgon. Well, it's not my normal creep tuber button because I'm playing through the editor. Can you get Zagara as a hero? Uh, I don't know. I think so. She was probably on the list. If not, that's my fault. It might be that Zagara doesn't have any abilities in the campaign. Ooh, we got a queen. I got this tank. Can we knock tanks? Uh, wasn't able to check right there. Mm, we'll get the bonus objective while we can. It's pretty well fortified. No, you cannot knock tanks because they are the third element, of course. What do we get here? War pigs. Nice. Oh, it's just a normal mothership. Oh, it was supposed to be a purifier mothership. That sucks. I wanted the purification beam. Maybe that was too hard to do. Oh well. It's another thing that can be fixed. It'd be so much cooler if it were a purifier. Alright, this area is clear. We're making good time here. My creep is not... And just keep pushing forward, take down these bases. And I'm never going to be able to afford this armor upgrade, I've given up on it. Send that guy into the stratosphere. Gamer, thank you for the tier 3 sub, or the 3 uh, gift subs, I appreciate it. And everybody else that has subbed, I appreciate you as well. There is a final base over there. We might as well clear it so that we can not die during the creep thing. And get this final bonus objective done. As I said, every time that you get the final bonus objective, you get a higher tier of random rewards. So it's always worth it to do the last... <laughs> Hello! It's always worth it to do the final rewards. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Lots of bones in that trench. Get them, boys. You'll join them soon enough. Oh. What do these even do? Phase shift. Phase out of existence. Oh, we can phase bunkers out of existence. Nice. <laughs> you never knew you wanted a hybrid nemesis on Shatter the Sky until now, huh? Or whatever this mission is called. It's not actually called Shatter the Sky. Sky Shield? No. Um, Death from Above? No. Uh, Fire in the Sky. That one. <laughs> Too many similarly named missions in this game. Two. One. At least they get to go on an adventure before they die. It seems really fun to be killed by Alarak. Sent a raven after our creep tumors. Oh. Kill it Ooh. now. No! Are you a detector? Oh no, it's a detector! Run! <laughs> Wait a moment, that's really bad. <laughs> Leave the tumors alone. <laughs> An unforeseen problem has arisen. Uh, it's still gonna be okay because we have the map cleared. But thank goodness we did that, huh? 
phase shift Leviathan? I'm not sure that I can. I think it's structures only. It says unit, but it seemed like it was only structures. I'll give it a go, though. Alright, you go this way. No. It says must target unit. Which isn't quite the error that I thought I was going to get, but it does seem to not work on units in general anyway, so... I think that the Leviathan is way scarier than the Gorgon because it actually Gorgon. hits stuff. Pay for this, Get Gorgon I mean, one of the easiest achievements in StarCraft is the one to not be hit by the Gorgons on this mission, but Leviathan absolutely pokes. We're just clearing the stuff over here as we wait for the last little bit. I love these guys. They're great. They do 20 damage per second. That's not bad. They can disable static defense for a while. That's really good. Got that little achievement right there. For killing all the orbital commands. As we spread our creep. I think that the, they're just not targetable. So anything that has any target is not valid. I guess I don't need to build stuff anymore. Unless uh, I can get some spawn queens over here to speed up the creep spread. Probably should have been doing that in the first place. The old soldier's bust is going to be weird. I don't know if it's going to go well or really poorly. It's usually a bunch of lings and bane with Kerrigan. I have a feeling it's not going to go too well. Keep it up. Awaken more scourge nests. I claimed this planet in the name of the Terran Dominion. I'm not gonna lose it. Queens go tumor tumor. You address the high. I wonder, is that the last Gorgon? Let's go check. Did he manage to roll the Gorgonzola? Oh he did. Look at that. Good job. The Nemesis aren't actually that tanky. Actually, I mean 900 HP. The Nemesis are really tanky, guys. <laughs> okay, this might be a bug, and it might not be. The Nemesis seems to not scale with attack upgrades. However, I don't know if there is a separate upgrade set for all air units. That might be how it goes. I don't actually know that, but we'll have to pay attention later once we get air and check. Of course I am needed. You know what mission's going to be really hard? Freaking Supreme. We're going to get, like, Stepman, and we're going to have to kill <laughs> Zervan with him. Uh. Goodbye. Easy peasy. 